Iran's recent unveiling of the Qaim-118 during the Great Prophet 19 military exercise on February 19, 2025, signaled another step forward in its indigenous air defense development. The system's design is aimed at countering modern aerial threats such as drones, low-flying aircraft, and precision-guided munitions. At its core, the Qaim-118 incorporates a sophisticated integration of multi-mode guidance technologies that blend radar, electro-optical, and thermal tracking systems. This multi-sensor approach allows the missile to adapt to various operational scenarios and environmental conditions. By employing radar guidance, the Qaim-118 can rapidly detect and track multiple targets in cluttered environments while the addition of electro-optical and thermal sensors enhances target discrimination during adverse weather conditions or in situations where electronic countermeasures might be in use. This multifaceted targeting strategy is indicative of Iran's broader objective to develop resilient and adaptable defense systems that can operate effectively even when faced with sophisticated enemy countermeasures. From a technical perspective, the CAM-118 is characterized by a 25-kilometer engagement envelope. While this range might initially appear modest compared to long-range systems, it is well within the operational requirements for a short-range air defense missile. In modern combat scenarios, having multiple layers of air defense is crucial. The CAM-118 is designed to fill a niche where rapid response and high mobility are prioritized over long-range engagement. The missile's range is particularly suited to protecting forward-deployed forces and critical infrastructure from low-altitude threats that can approach at high speed with little warning. One of the standout features of the Kim-118 is its launch platform, a truck-mounted system that accommodates five launchers. This configuration provides a high degree of mobility, enabling rapid redeployment and a flexible defensive posture. In a dynamic battlefield environment, mobility is essential for avoiding counter-battery fire and for ensuring that the air defense system can be positioned optimally against evolving threats. The Integrated Fire Control Radar System, which is capable of interfacing with multiple launchers simultaneously, further enhances the platform's effectiveness by allowing it to track and engage several targets concurrently. This multi-target capability is a significant force multiplier ensuring that the system can effectively counter swarm attacks or coordinated incursions by enemy aircraft and unmanned systems. The sensor fusion employed by the KM-118 is indicative of a modern trend in air defense technology, where reliability and accuracy are achieved by cross-verifying target data from multiple sources. This redundant and complementary sensor network minimizes the probability of false alarms and allows the system to function effectively in environments saturated with electronic warfare and other countermeasures. By integrating thermal imaging and electro-optical tracking, the CAM-118 can effectively engage low-visibility targets, which is critical in a conflict scenario where adversaries may rely on stealth or camouflage. This advanced integration sets it apart from earlier generation systems that depended primarily on radar guidance and often struggled to maintain accuracy in complex scenarios. Beyond the technical specifications, the development of the Chem 118 reflects a broader strategic goal for Iran, achieving self-reliance in military technology. For decades, Iran has faced international sanctions and arms embargoes that have limited its access to advanced military hardware. In response, it has invested heavily in developing indigenous systems that not only fulfill its defense needs, but also serve as a deterrent to potential adversaries. The CAM-118 is a product of this long-term strategy, demonstrating both technological maturity and the capacity to integrate multiple advanced systems into a cohesive defense platform. This move is also symbolic, serving as a public display of technological progress and military autonomy that has significant implications for regional power dynamics. When compared to regional competitors, the COM-118's features suggest both strengths and challenges. In the Middle East and surrounding regions, several nations have developed or acquired advanced air defense systems. For instance, 
systems such as Russia's 9K330 Tor and Israel's Iron Dome have set high benchmarks in terms of target engagement, mobility, and multi-target tracking capabilities. The Tor system, known for its high agility and integrated radar-guided missiles, operates within a similar range envelope as the KM-118, but often benefits from a longer operational history and extensive combat validation. Similarly, the Iron Dome, though primarily designed to intercept short-range rockets and artillery shells, employs a sophisticated command and control network that has been refined through repeated operational use. In direct comparison, the KM-118's innovative sensor fusion and its integration with a mobile launch platform offer a competitive edge in scenarios requiring rapid repositioning and simultaneous multi-target engagement. However, it is also important to consider that while the KM-118 shows promise in technical demonstrations and initial tests, its true effectiveness can only be measured in extended operational conditions. Systems like the Russian Tor and the Israeli Iron Dome have been subjected to prolonged field use, which has allowed for iterative improvements based on real-world feedback. The KM-118, being a relatively new addition to Iran's arsenal, will require time to prove its reliability and resilience under sustained combat conditions. In terms of radar cross-section, countermeasure resistance, and operational flexibility, the KEM-118 must not only match, but eventually exceed the performance of these established systems if it is to be regarded as a truly transformative asset on the battlefield. The integration of the KEM-118 into Iran's broader air defense network is another factor worth noting. Modern air defense strategies emphasize layered defense, where multiple systems with overlapping coverage areas are deployed to create a robust, multi-tiered shield against enemy attacks. The KIM-118 is designed to operate in conjunction with longer-range systems, such as those deployed for high-altitude and long-range threats, thereby filling a critical gap in the lower-tier defense. Its mobility and rapid reaction time mean that it can be used to protect high-value targets and quickly respond to sudden incursions in contested environments. This modular and networked approach to air defense is a hallmark of modern military doctrine and represents a significant shift from older, more siloed systems. In addition to its operational roles, the KM-118 may also play a significant role in shaping Iran's export strategy for military hardware. Over the years, Iran has become increasingly involved in the global arms market, particularly among nations seeking cost-effective alternatives to Western or Russian systems. The KM-118's blend of advanced technology and mobility could make it attractive to countries that are looking to modernize their air defense capabilities without incurring the high costs associated with some of the more advanced Western systems. This potential export market not only has economic implications, but also contributes to Iran's strategic influence in regions where it is willing to provide military support or forge defense alliances.